Bird Box Barcelona on Netflix is a post-apocalyptic horror thriller film directed by Lex and David Pastor. It is a sequel to the 2018 movie Bird Box, which was based on Josh Mailerman's 2014 book of the same name. It centers on Sebastian and Anna, a father-daughter team attempting to survive a terrible situation. The 2018 film's post-apocalyptic scenario, in which unseen monsters force humans to commit suicide, is also the setting for the Spanish spin-off movie. However, very little is made known about the monsters or their intentions. Here is everything you need to know about the monsters in Bird Box Barcelona and why they push victims to commit suicide. Spoilers ahead. What are the monsters? Bird Box Barcelona furthers some of the ideas and concepts from 2018's Bird Box, which introduces us to the monsters that have caused an apocalypse. It is a known fact that the creatures exert their powers through eye contact. However, the original film provides little to no explanation about the arrival of these seemingly otherworldly monsters, who are tormenting humanity. Furthermore, the creatures never appear on the screen making it difficult to deduce their true nature. The first film hints that these creatures are spiritual beings, and different cultures interpret them differently. The Barcelona setting of the spin-off movie gives us the impression that the beings are missionic figures, angels, or other kind spirits, that herald the beginning of the biblical apocalypse. This is very probably untrue. Though, as Sebastian, who thinks the creatures are angels, is shown in the movie's climax shattering his fantasy, and realizing the creature's treachery and cunning nature. The movie's dark and dramatic aspects of horror thriller are further enhanced by the fact that the film concludes without fully resolving the riddle of the monster's existence and their arrival. Not knowing what the threat the characters face looks like only adds to the fun of a concept like Bird Box, and also makes thematic sense, since seeing the monsters can drive a person to suicide. Why do people kill themselves after seeing the monsters? Like the appearance and backstory of the creatures, their influence on humans is also an unexplained element. As with Bird Box the monsters exert their force on humans through eye contact. Anyone who comes in eye contact is driven to insanity and forced to kill themselves. The same principle is true for the monsters in Bird Box Barcelona, as both movies are set in the same universe, and unfold over a similar time frame albeit in different locations. However, neither film completely explains why people are compelled to kill themselves after having eye contact with the creatures. By pointing out that various people respond to viewing the monsters in different ways, Bird Box Barcelona delves a little deeper into the impact the creatures have on people. While the majority of people are driven to commit suicide, some grow demented or enamored with the animals and work to persuade others of their beauty. The monsters might therefore be seen as a metaphor for beliefs or ideas in general. Sebastian's belief that the creatures are angels causes him to go blind. Therefore we can infer that the monsters have a psychological effect on how a person thinks. The monsters also force humans to do their dirty bidding through emotionally manipulative visions and hallucinations. However, most of this leads to humans taking their own lives, which suggests that the monsters draw energy from human souls which we see from Sebastian's perspective in the movie. The lack of knowledge about the creatures themselves created different interpretations of their nature and purpose, which is a necessary tool for the film to explore the theme of blind faith and love. The world would fall into disorder without love and reason, resulting in widespread frenzy and fatalities, which seems to be the monster's intention. The deaths in Bird Box and Bird Box Barcelona are a matter of perspective. It appears that people are killing themselves, but the monsters may be tricking them into believing that they are carrying out heroic deeds in order to achieve their objective of taking as many lives as they can. 